Hi guys, my name is David, and this is my beautiful wife Becca, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our first, first video. video. Today we have three fragrances from the House of Dua that we will be reviewing, and our first fragrance is... Ladies. So, Ladies is inspired by Perfume de Marley Sedley, and it is a citrusy aromatic fragrance. I mean, I would say it's about 98% like Sedley's, um, which is... A pretty amazing fragrance but this blows it out of the water for me just because the projection um, is a lot better and it's stronger the fragrance in general it starts off with notes of like bergamot lemon mandarin um, but also you get a little bit of spearmint and I love it because when you wear it and it cools down you definitely get more of a cashmere wood scent um, and you still have that bergamot lemony scent, mm -hmm. but that is more toned down and then you get a little bit more of the rosemary and spearmint in it, I would say. Um, and this is definitely, it's an intriguing scent. Mm -hmm. um, so the picture definitely makes sense. <laughs> but uh, no, I definitely would say if you're into the bergamot citrusy scents, Absolutely. this is one to, to, to grab, grab for yeah, sure. Dry it down a little bit, so mm -hmm. that citrusy vibe to yep. it, you know. Yeah, but it's—I would say it's better for cooler weather. Yes. Um, than warmer weather. I feel like with warmer weather, it's just a little bit too intense. Mm -hmm. But the cooler weather, even like summer nights when you go for walks, and it's like 50s, 60s. Mm -hmm. Um, that's all right, but definitely fall, winter. And it's definitely strong, you know. It's mm -hmm. uh, definitely one of the ones you spray. It's very potent. Uh, the sillage on this one is, is really good, you know, uh, it does have somewhat of a scent bubble. Uh, I would say it projects about one and a half to two and a half hours. Yeah, I would more say so. so. But it, so. it definitely sits on the skin for a while. <laughs> yes, yes, it definitely yes. It is still in skin all night. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I even heard stories of people uh, taking showers and, you know, not necessarily trying to get this stuff off, but obviously taking a shower and mm -hmm. this stuff is still on them. So, yeah. I mean, it's definitely potent. Uh, it's a, what, a perfume extract, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, it's yeah. oil concentrated. Uh, I would definitely say, let these macerate. Yep. Let these <laughs> need to macerate. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how many times I have to see this on uh, Dua's uh, Facebook page, but you guys definitely need to let these macerate mm -hmm. and uh, let them turn into something beautiful. Yeah. so that they blossom for you guys yeah. so but if if you like, like sadly's <laughs> or you've been intrigued to try it i would go with this this is almost like a hybrid of it yes absolutely and it absolutely. i'm i'm really impressed with that one. absolutely and we love parfum de marley's we love a lot of uh their niche fragrances that they have mm -hmm. uh herod is one of our favorites uh yeah. Pegasus, we you know we like, uh, but we kind of found the Armoff clone. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it was just better for us. We yep. we fell in love with the Armoff clone mm -hmm. of uh, Perfume de Marley's, and yep. uh, you know, so that's you know just to kind of yeah. elaborate on the DNA that uh, Dua mm -hmm. came up with. Uh, they definitely have their they definitely have their DNA. They did their down. thing. So, yeah, they did their thing. So. <laughs> but and and especially when you when you wear ladies. It's from a female looking at it as as definitely a masculine scent, but it's definitely mm -hmm. I want to get close to you because it's also it's like oh close? you <laughs> close <laughs> but mean. it's yeah it's it's just an intriguing it's not a lemony scent yeah. but it's just that yeah. combination that I haven't smelled before so so yes yeah, it's, it's a great Impressive. scent uh, I love it and uh, I definitely will continue buying it. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting a backup bottle. So we'll see how it, how it does in the winter time, and hopefully we can get to you guys back on this one if you want to know more about it and how it does in the winter time. Uh, can we move on? Yeah, perfect. All right, let's move on. Uh, so our next one is going to be Celsius, which let me pull up my note on this one. Uh, this one is inspired by Dior Fahrenheit. Uh, this one was created in 1988. And uh, it's, it's inspired by that version, yeah. Sorry, it's inspired by Dior Fahrenheit and it was created in 1988. And uh, this was definitely one that I'm familiar with because I grew up with uh, smelling this in the 90s, uh, early 90s. I can remember my uncle and my dad wearing this one or mm -hmm. rocking this one wherever on the 
say and uh this this just harnesses harnesses a lot of uh memories or old memories for me or conjure up a lot of old memories for mm -hmm. me and uh i just i just really love it i mean as far as like the scent profile like what it smells like i mean it's classified as a, le a leathery scent um for me it's a little bit more than that uh, definitely smells like leather but i get more so i guess uh like the citrusy aspect? Yeah, more the, the bergamot. You know, I mm -hmm. think this bergamot, yeah, this Sicilian um, Mandarin in here, which I'm not too familiar with. But uh, as far as like the bergamot goes, I definitely smell that. Mm -hmm. The bergamot is strong in there. It comes out like a powerhouse to me. And uh, yeah. but I think I also get notes of the honeysuckle in there. Yeah. It yeah. definitely evens it out. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. But uh, I remember we were outside <laughs> and they were laying the asphalt outside. Yeah, when we were out, because we, we have mm -hmm. some construction going on on our block. And uh, uh, there are uh, trucks coming through with this asphalt. For those that don't know what that is, it's basically like this uh, tart type material that they mm -hmm. put out on the road. And yeah. It's just amazing. I mean, I like the smell of stuff like that. I, I guess you can call me weird or whatever, <laughs> but... It really has like a gasoline smell to it. The uh, Celsius, it does pick up on that gasoline uh, scent that you get or vibe that you get from the yeah. Dior Fahrenheit. Uh, a little bit. A little bit, you yeah. know, it's not overwhelming or anything yeah. like that, but you definitely get a hint of that. As mm -hmm. well as uh, it's, it smells like, so I, I don't really know how to explain this, but I'll do my best. It's like when you go outside and you kind of smell the moisture in the air, and you can smell that it's gonna rain and you can just kind of smell those earthy tones that the, the earth kind of releases when the atmosphere changes mm -hmm. into like that more so humidity type, you know, weathery vibe that you get. You really smell like it has that those earthy tones of as if it's gonna rain. And uh, you kind of get that gasoline scent with that uh, asphalt, mm -hmm. fresh asphalt type of smell to it. And uh, to me, it just really smells good. So, like yeah. I said, it con conjures up a lot of memories. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, if you grew up in the 90s, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, yeah. and it's, it's a great, great scent. It's a classic scent that will never get old. I mean, younger people can wear it, older people can wear it, but it's mm -hmm. definitely more masculine yes. for yes. me. It's, yes. it's, I love smelling it, um, you know. On a man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, my man gets the job done. All right, all right. Got back from a long, hard day at work, you know, smelling great. And so, it's good. just to kind of give you guys a brief summary on that or mm -hmm. a little small synopsis, it's definitely a great scent. And I think you guys will love the scent profile of this one. Mm -hmm. And this is, once again, Celsius. Our next one coming up, I think I probably. Let you introduce it, or should I introduce it? I mean, you do a great it's, job with this one. I mean, yeah, from it's, the stories um, I heard. Invasion of the Royal Barbers, and it literally smells like this brush that's on there, um, with really fresh, um, high-end shaving cream. It's really good. Um, it reminds me of when I was uh, I used to go to Germany all the time because I have family over there, and. My grandpa would shave every other day, mm -hmm. um, and he would only get the best stuff, the you know high end stuff. But mm -hmm. this literally smells like a fancy barber shop, and the smell is just so welcoming. It's like an Oriental woody smell. Um, I would say, like bergamot, grapefruit, thyme. It's it's just it's a really class. It's one of the it's most really classy, classy smells yeah. I've yeah. ever. I've ever smelled and I would say it's definitely more masculine mm -hmm. for sure um I, it's a powerhouse but it's a smooth one what's the opening burst like for you so like when you first spray, uh, spray it it's like grapefruit ginger bergamot like just that mm -hmm. strong almost a little bit of an intense vibe um but then like almost violet leaves you you get hints of that I mean that and it smells similar the dry down does, mm -hmm. but it's yeah, just a little yeah. more toned down. Yeah, yeah. So. So yeah, I mean, this is definitely a, a great scent. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I guess to elaborate on a little bit more, I mean, from the website, I'm I'm seeing the notes of bergamot, grapefruit, gin, ginger, thyme, cardamom, lavender, which I do get the lavender, mm -hmm. uh, violet leaves, cedar wood, sandalwood, vanilla, musk, uh, vetiver. Yeah, that vetiver smells. Yeah. So <laughs> 
and uh, ambergris. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, this is definitely a classy scent. And uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you fellas, all the fellas out there, if you go to the barber shop, you know exactly what this one smells mm -hmm. like when you get the brush, you know, uh, flashed or wiped across, wiped across your, your yeah. Yeah, beard and you know, so you kind of get frisked. <laughs> by that brush or whatnot, you, you, you know exactly what we're talking about. It does have just a, a little hint of powder, I guess. You yeah, I think that's what creates the smoothness to it. Yeah. But it, I would say out of all three of these, though, that one is my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Um, to smell, it's just, it, it can be a signature scent. It's that versatile. You can wear it going out or just hanging out, um, you know, going to the movies, going, yeah. going out to the bar, you know, there, it's... First of all. Yeah, it's a great scent. So, I mean, with that scent, or what I said, uh, yeah, like like my wife explained, I mean, for all you uh, gentlemen out there, if you're looking for a scent that's going to grab the attention of a female, uh, I would say it's the invasion of the royal barbers. Like, you might meet the one yeah, wearing you might meet this. The one. <laughs> it is so good. She, she's mine. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. But, anyhow, uh, yeah, so I mean, I guess that's more so, I, I guess that kind of concludes our video. Uh, it was kind of, you know, fun describing describing these uh, fragrances mm -hmm. here. And uh, hopefully we can do more for you guys. Yeah, but and, I, uh, if you want to say all of these. Oh yeah, all these fragrances change here, they change your life. <laughs> Absolutely, Ch life changing. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but with that said, again, uh, we would definitely like to do more reviews and I got to just kind of put these two out there. Tease you guys a yeah, bit. Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, I'm not saying that this will be our next video, but this would definitely be something I would love to review. Upcoming. Uh, which is Midnight Rendezvous. And then we have the, the OG, Landon with the Loan. And this is actually a bottle from 2009. I haven't really seen anyone with the two, not 2009 uh, mm -hmm. version bottle to yeah. kind of compare it to this one here. But I would love to give you guys our general idea of what it's mm -hmm. like so yeah it's nice having both to compare side by side but i would yeah i'm thoroughly impressed with with dua all of the fragrances there have been a couple where i'm like oh like yeah. i'm not sure but then you let them macerate and some of them do a 180 and it's it's beautiful how you see that chemistry come together so but i yeah i would i would love to stress that and i'm glad you brought that up mm -hmm. but i would love to stress you need to let these macerate. Mm -hmm. uh, I hear it on the Facebook page all the time, and uh, people ask those questions mm -hmm. like, "It doesn't smell good," or "We don't know," whatever. If you guys are gonna, you know, give up on it the first time you smell it, we don't have any problem with robbing the bank. <laughs> yeah. We will get on there and we'll we will them, we will cop yeah. them, we will buy them, whatever. So, yeah. but I would um, say do a. It's definitely worth doing blind buys with. Yes. There's some where you're like, oh, I'm not sure. It seems too interesting. But if you if you give them a chance and you diversify your portfolio with what you have with your fragrances, it's definitely worth it. But for the people that aren't letting them macerate, mm -hmm. I guess we'll let your loss be our treasure. Yep. So with that being said, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> and it's okay not to like it. Like, I do want to make that yeah, point. Like, it's okay. Yeah. If something isn't your know, fragrance or isn't your style, but definitely give it the four to six weeks, you know, once you spray mm -hmm. it a few times exactly. to, to give it a chance to adapt minimum. and, you know, minimum. Four to six weeks. But, uh, well, yeah, no, it's it's good. And yeah, I, I can't say anything better about it. Their customer service is great. And, yes, yes. So. so they're great people over there. Yeah. And uh, for people that haven't given them a try, give them a try. If you're yeah. thinking about pulling the trigger on something, pull it. It's worth it. <laughs> because when this stuff sells out, it's hard to get in touch with it again. Yep. So I think, or I can finally say it now, that concludes our video. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys. Thanks, thank guys. Thank you, little family.